how to dance with the news. The break of the knob. Oh. She'll get over it.
There you are. Where's the girl? I don't know. I thought she was in here, but she's, she's not. Shit. She's probably passed out somewhere. Well, come on, we gotta find her. That was over 30 years ago, but her rotting body's still there, waiting to be discovered. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> no, it's true. I swear to God. My mom told me in complete confidence. Well, complete confidence doesn't mean much when you drink vodka like it's water. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Stop it. So, you don't think it's unhealthy for them to stay home on their own homecoming? Well, not everybody wants to be homecoming queen. It didn't hurt me. You're right. And I only wish I could have been there. You, know, you were too old and serious. Thanks a lot. <laughs> That story doesn't make any sense. I mean, why don't the girls stick up for themselves? I don't get it. Maybe if you weren't always speaking out, like in the school newspaper, maybe we'd have dates to the homecoming dance. Oh, okay, so you changed your mind. You think that it's fair that football players get academic credit for just going to football practice? I think you shouldn't have published the freaking picture with the article. They took the picture as a joke, and you published it out of context without Guys, hey, guys, I've got another ghost story. That wasn't a ghost story, Mindy. It's an urban legend. An urban legend is just a made-up story that people keep telling as if it was true. Like the guy who eats pop rocks and drinks soda and then his stomach explodes? <laughs> or like that bullshit about Mindy's brother's camp counselor getting his arm stuck in a soda machine and then it falls on top of him? That wasn't bullshit. And it was a candy machine. <laughs> oh, and like Bloody Mary? Who's that? Well, supposedly, if you go into the bathroom and turn off the lights and chant Bloody Mary three times into the mirror, she appears. Her face is like a corpse. And if you look at her, well, then you have to turn the lights back on before she drags you in. In where? I don't know. In the mirror? I heard. She'll haunt you forever. That's not even a real urban legend. That's just like that movie Candyman. Well, my story was real. As real as your mother's new tits. <laughs> So what's the first thing you're gonna do when you become mayor? I haven't won yet. Yeah, but you will. A lot can happen, so. But so far, what's going on in there? I don't know. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is propose a 9 p.m. curfew on all teenage girls. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them off the streets, keep them safe. Keep them virgins. I'm afraid that might be too late. <laughs> Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary.